Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video on the channel today. We are doing the Chesterfield versus Dorking match preview. Football is finally back. I'm so looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be great. It's the first time we've properly been back uh, since that National League playoff final. And I'm looking forward to it. I of course will be vlogging tomorrow so stay tuned for that. Let's get into this match preview then. We'll have a look at Dorking's form to start off with. I do just want to say all of this information is based on pre-season and it is all according to Flash scores. So let's get started. Dorking have played six, one, two, drawn four, lost none. Scoring 14 and conceding 12 with the top scorer being Ryan Seeger. Not sure how you say that. It might be Seeger. I don't, I don't know, Seager, Seager, not sure, uh, but he did bag four goals in pre-season. Looking at Chesterfield, they played seven, won three, drawn none and lost four, scoring 18, conceding 10, with their top goal scorer being Armando Dobra, who also has four goals in pre-season. The main man then. Uh, for Chesterfield, that will be Ryan Colclough, who's bagged 14 goals last season for Chesterfield and Altrincham. Uh, and the main man for Dorking will be James McShane, scoring 17 goals in, the, in last season. Dorking will certainly come with the game plan. They, I mean, Mark quite recently said in their in their interview... He said we're nowhere near ready. I personally don't believe that. I think it's all mind games. I think I think they are ready. Uh, it's going to. I think I probably say my national league prediction soon, but I think Dorking are a side that are going to be a dark horse next season. In my, I'll give you an early, uh, early uh, <laughs> national league prediction spoiler. I put them sick. I put them in the playoffs mainly because. I don't know. I think they're they're just that sort of team to go to somewhere like Oldham and win three 0 Like they're a sneaky team, Dorking, and I think they'll be that sneaky team next season. So we really have to be ruthless tomorrow. Um, Mark White also said stuff like, you know, I have nightmares when thinking of coming to Chesterfield, um, which is also also interesting of him to say. And that's what I want to be honest. I want to see football clubs on their see on their fixture list, see they have Chesterfield away and be, oh shit, we're going to Chesterfield away tomorrow and go there terrified to face us. That's what I want. Uh hopefully we'll be that sort of team for this upcoming season. You never know there. You never know. Right, so next up I'm going to be going through my starting eleven. Uh this is the starting eleven that I put on FanHub. If you don't know FanHub, it's an app where you know you can predict all starting eleven predictions, etc. Um, go check them out. So my starting eleven for tomorrow is as fall uh, is as follows. Sorry, in goal I've gone with Harry Tyra. Can I just say as well this formation is a four two three one. A back four in left back, I've gone Brandon Horton. The two centre backs, I've gone with Ash Palmer and Jamie Grant. I think Ash Palmer will start, but you know, there's been issues with his car. There's been, you know, speculation of him starting tomorrow or not. It might be Williams, I really don't mind. I think they're both good defenders. Um, but I do think Palmer will just get the edge to start tomorrow. And in right back, I've gone with Jeff King. Another speculative point. A lot of people are saying that he had a poor preseason and Shackleford should be starting. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think King, in my opinion, is too good to drop. I think he's a sensational player on his day. Whether he'll turn up tomorrow, we'll see. But I do think um, if he doesn't turn up, you know, he will get substituted off. Uh, the midfield two, I've gone with Ollie Banks and Tom Naylor. I think the partnership of them both in midfield has gone really well, to be honest, uh, in pre-season. And we, we've seen signs of them two just creating creating chances for the likes of Dobber and Colclough to just run at the defence. And I'm looking forward to seeing seeing these two partnership. 
a lot of people have been as well speculating whether Oldacre starts. For me, I think Banks starts, but I can see why people have put Oldacre to start because, again, a bit like King, on his day, he's a fantastic player and Oldacre could honestly start tomorrow. But this is the thing, it's good to have competition for places in the starting eleven um because it's healthy at the end of the day it's healthy for a squad to have competition for places we have competition for places nearly every spot now we have one in goal the center back position right back and left back uh center mid even the striker position we have competi- competition for places for now so we'll just see next season uh whether the squad will change due to the competition for places or whether he will Paul Cook will stick with the same squad uh, the attacking three midfielders, I've gone with Colclough, Mandeville and Dobra. These three are just going to shine together next season. They shined a lot towards the last part, uh, toward, well, towards the second part of last season when Colclough did join. And I think I think they them three are just going to be magnificent next season. Mandeville, for me, is number one on, on that list. He has to start. He is always... The first name for me on the team sheet, um, Dobber and Conclough are high up there. But to be honest, I'd rather Mandeville start, you know, ahead of Dobber if it was, if like if it was just if he if Dobber didn't have a space, if that makes sense. But them three together, I'm not saying Dobber is a bad player. Can I just say Dobber and Conclough are magnificent players, too good for this level, too good for Chesterfield. Um, and they, they should be starting as well. They're another one who, you know, just should be on the team sheet. But I think Mandeville is just a sensational player. He works so hard, Mandeville. Um, and I thought his goal at home to Bromley last season, he took just so well. And he deserved that goal so much. And the lone striker I have got up front is Will Grigg. There's been a lot of people saying, will he score a lot of goals next season. No one really knows at the minute how many he will score. I'm not sure if he will score many. I do think we need another striker in place. I mean, we've just been linked with uh, Michael George. No, not Michael George. Michael, Michael someone. And someone Berry from Macclesfield. who scored like 37 goals in 43 games. So ideally, the Berry one would be good. But I would take... Um, that that Michael bloke from Portsmouth. I can't remember his name now. Uh, <laughs> um, we also have three bonus points to earn here. So the super sub. Uh, this is the player who will come off the bench first. I've gone with Joe Quigley. He always seems to uh to to come on in the last half an hour and make an impact. Poacher point, which is um, poacher point is the person who scores a goal in a game. So any time, just got to get the player who scores. And I think Dobra, Armando Dobra, will score tomorrow at some point. And the booking bonus, is a, this is a player that is going to get booked tomorrow or, or just name a player that will be booked tomorrow, essentially. And I've gone with Jeff King. Um, it was very close between someone like Grimes or King or Horton. It's just going to be... One of them back four, really, it's going to get bought, but I've gone with Jeff King. So let me repeat my starting 11 uh, quickly. I've gone with a 4 2 3 1 in goal, Harry Tyra. Uh, back four of Brandon Horton, Ash Palmer, Jamie Grimes, and Jeff King. Midfield two of Ollie Banks and Tom Naylor. Tacking three midfield of Ryan Colclough, Liam Mandeville, and Armando Dobra. And the striker is Will Grigg. Uh, and that would be my starting 11 for tomorrow. So yeah, what do you think of that starting 11? And what do you think the prediction will be for tomorrow? I think I've gone with a 3-0 win for tomorrow. 3-0, I think. I don't think we'll concede. Uh, I think we'll be, close to con- we'll be close to conceding. I've seen a lot of people putting 3-1. Um, I think my mum and my brother put 3-1. So we'll just see what the what the score will be tomorrow. But, you know, whatever the score is, I hope we win. Uh, let me know your score predictions in the comments down below. Thank you all ever so much for wa- watching this short match day preview. I know it's not long, but I speak very quickly and I get through my notes very quickly as well. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow for the vlog. 
Have a great day, guys. See you all tomorrow for the big kickoff. Have a great day. Bye-bye.